welcome to the void. My name is Q Thrush, also known as the Transfeeling. And today we're going to go back into Lonely Wolf Treat. And I'm really excited. We have Chapter 4 Wondering Wolf Trick. Aww, cute little, like. I don't know. It looks like it's made out of snow. Is it actually or just white? Oh, there's trick, or there's treat, and there's trick. Oh, we have trick and treat. Ah, this morning really snuck up on me. I must have slept in pretty late. I'm afraid to be this quiet. I don't know what treat is up to. Do you not know the treat is gone? Do you, do you, do you not know the treat's gone? This is also a very, very sparse house. Also, it does look like it's maybe actually made out of snow. Uncertain, hard to say. <laughs> no wonder there's no ha, huh, there's no one around. No wonder it's so quiet. I wonder if Treat slept in too. Ah, oh, there we go. I mean, you could in fact say that. Afternoon, Pops, I'm looking for Treat. Good, well that's good, we'll find her. Huh? That's not the response I expected. Something wrong? You you didn't hear? Tr Trick, do you know what happened? I just, I just got out of bed. Sorry. Do you mind filling me in? There was an avalanche in this morning. My daughter's missing. But it'll be fine. They'll find her. Don't worry. Ah, that's great then. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, kiddo. You always help me think positive. You really woke up today, huh? Did Candy tell you to come back here and relax? Yeah, yeah. That's what happened. <laughs> I think it's where you trick. <coughs> <coughs> I'll go help it. I'll go out and uh, help everyone search. Thank you. I'll be okay. She'll be okay. Things like this happen. I'll be, it'll all be fine. Okay. All right. So we gotta go find treat. Hey, old man. Since everyone seems to be out somewhere, I almost didn't expect to find you here. <laughs> Don't think I would notice you call me old man again. I ain't that old. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Mango. You didn't just wake up, did you? Afraid so. Everyone's down the path to the south. You should probably talk to them first. Mm, okay. I like your pink beard. It's very cute. I love this little game. It's so cute. So this is like a... It seems like a precursor? Presumably? Given that it's like... Oh treats missing when we know where we know where treat is oh wow it's piled up so tall where's trick are they still asleep i'm right here trick treat is we think she's well you haven't found her yet i heard from cotton there's only a hint of her trail if she's anywhere it's So we're gonna try dig through or climb over. <laughs> Look at all this snow, Trick! You know it's impossible. Besides, this road leads to... There's no need for any of that. Andy? I have reason to believe she ran away on her own. Treat is a grown wolf. She'll be alright. If you say so, I'll believe it. What? Are, are, are either of you worried? How can you smile when she could be... If this is the way she left, that rabbit town's nearby, isn't it? Aren't places like that really bad for a wolf to be around? Are you afraid of them? Just, I'm worried they'll get the wrong idea. We shouldn't have settled so close to their town. Next year we need to stay, deep, stay deeper into the mountains where it's safe for us. Oh, Aww. Tree can't run away from me. Wow. I'm getting helicopter parent vibes. Oh. Oh. I see. Oh, heck. I forgot to re the mic on the recording. That's fine. I see, so not not a helicopter parent, but a helicopter X. Scary. Sorry, she's just upset because Treat broke up with her last night. <laughs> oh, they were dating? Well, not officially. This is the first time hearing of it, too. Tell us more about her. <laughs> I wonder what happened. And forget about that. How would you feel if Treat How would Treat feel if she knew her mom and her best friend were smiling while she's just gone missing? It's fine, isn't it? We couldn't do anything if we were too busy being sad. 
Hmm. That's right. I don't think she would want us to worry about her. So what are we going to do? My sister will get over it eventually, but are you two going to be okay with leaving it like this? I'll talk to Cotton, but I think he would agree. There isn't much to be done. This is her decision. We'll miss her, but I'm sure she'll return one day. I don't get it. Is it really how a mother should react to something like this? Drink? <laughs> Sorry, I'm going home to pack my things. Then I'm going to go out to look for her. Pack your things? How long will you be gone? I don't know. Guess in I guess until I find Treat. Uh, figures. Trick. Come home safe. Like, it, it, it is, like, there is kind of a good point of it being, like, you know, if there's not much to do, like, if things aren't, are things are out of your control, there's not a lot of use beating yourself over them because you can't control them. That's why they're called elements outside your control. Hey, Fennel, don't cry. I'll find her, promise. What if she doesn't want to come back? This sucks. I shouldn't have let her go. What do you mean? When she was in my place last night, after she dumped me, I just, I let her walk out. Did she say anything? About going anywhere? <laughs> no. <laughs> she was only my girlfriend for like, not even a day. I think she only said yes because she felt bad for me. Idiot. Jerk. No, no. I'm sure she didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, if you like being so if you like someone else, it's just say no to begin with. Oh, is that how it was? <laughs> you wouldn't tell me, but it sounded like it was. And then she just disappears? That's so unfair. You want to know what I think? She was too scared to choose, so she ran away instead. Coward. Jerk. I hate her. Fennel, you don't mean that. Oh, Baby, I think- I th Baby. Sweetheart. Fennel. Fennel, I think maybe- I understand. As someone who once was dating a now ex of mine for like a week before saying like I wanted to marry them. Like, I get it. But also, honey. Things need time. You gotta take things slow. We were gonna get married. And, and be a family. And live in a cute little igloo together. Just the two of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry it didn't work out. I'll be going now. Good luck, I guess. Oh, Fennel. Oh, Fennel. I don't... I, oh, Fennel. Baby. And I should be careful not to take too much with me. Only necessities. I guess I'll look around at what could be useful. Tools and cooking utensils could be handy, but more likely they just weigh me down. I wonder how much Trail brought with her when she left. Better bring some with me. Trail mix. I'll bring a ton so that when I find her, we can share. <gasps> Pardon me. Oof. I have extra blankets in here, but they're a little bulky. Best leave them behind. Sleeping bag. That'll be important. I think I'll pack it up last. Uh, maybe a lamp? My lantern. I should definitely take this. I should definitely take this in case it gets dark while I'm looking for her. Should be good to go. I guess I'll be on my way now. I was right, they were igloos. Five years ago. Hey, slow down. We're supposed to look for food together, right? You haven't said anything this whole time. Isn't it more fun if we have a conversation? I don't know you. You're right. That's a problem. Trick. That's my name. No, that's my name. Now we're acquainted. I mean, I meant that I don't know what I should say. You joined us out of nowhere. Hmm. Is the member of the same pack? Let's get to know. We Let's get to know each other. You can ask me anything you want. Hmm. Okay. You really never had meat before. Not even chicken or pork. Nope. Is this a surprise for wolves? I thought your pack doesn't hunt. First one did, but we left when I was young. God, I can't imagine not eating meat. So I used to live with a human. That's right. I'm sorry. I need more details about how this world works. I'm sorry. I need more details about how this world works. <laughs> All right, let's... 
Sure, these are sentences I'm saying on YouTube. Sure. That's right, I grew up as his pet. I only left because he told me to. He told you to? It's something like, uh, I need to go and make friends with other wolves, so I thought joining you guys would be good for that. It hasn't been very long, but I've had a lot of fun so far. I'm glad I met you guys. Amazing. Did I say something wrong? If you only want to have fun, you should go home. It's insulting to pretend that you're like us when you have a place to go back to. It's not like that. I really do want to learn how to be a good wolf. Besides, we can, we can share a home. If I show you that it's a place we can both go back to, then we'd be the same, right? Come on, I'll take you there. It isn't far. What kind of place is it? Oh! no. I kind of love Trick. That night. Nighttime already? Heh, <laughs> sure walked a lot today. I already ate the last of my trail mix. Tree would have told me to go home by now. Heh. <laughs> Tree! Can you hear me? Yeah, right. I wonder how that trip back to the old place worked. Or rather, didn't work. Like, I'm, I'm, just, I'm curious how that interaction went down. Oh. I thought this area looked familiar. Oh, I see. This is it. But why are the lights off? That's weird. Hello, Master, did you go out somewhere? Oh no. But, but he was here. He was here. It's only been. I only left three days ago. Everything's gone. Why is everything gone? Where'd you go? You told me to make friends with other wolves. What's the point if I can't bring them back to meet you? Hey, it's, it's gonna be okay. You can still stay with us, so don't cry. Aww. Did you really abandon me too? It's not cool. Yeah. There's no point in going back if you aren't going to be there. Aww. Nope, it just wouldn't be the same. Okay. Nothing story important there. I guess, do we need to check the mailbox? Okay. <gasps> Look at this view! There's really no time to be sad. There's really no time to be sad. Wow, I can say words. Last night before you left, I remember exactly how it went. Oh. I just wanted to say, have a good day tomorrow. It's nice of you, but I already have a good day every day, so you don't have to worry. Get, get plenty of rest, don't forget to eat, okay? Alright, see you tomorrow. Is that before Treat left? We said tomorrow, but that doesn't have to mean one particular day, right, Treat? We'll definitely meet up again. This isn't like with Master. If I go far enough, I'm sure I'll find you somewhere, even if it takes me a while. I'll definitely find my home. Aww. Aww, Treat is home. Save your progress. Wait, was that- was that it? One week later. Oh, okay. A wolf! Sorry, friend, you're the only one I've seen. <laughs> I figured as much. Thanks anyway. So I couldn't be of more help. I'll keep an eye out for you, though. Thanks, I'll keep asking around. There are so many... Oh, there are so many characters. I can't possibly give voices for all of them. Oh, they're all so cute. <gasps> it's a giant kitty fountain! Okay, let's talk to you. Actually, what are you doing by the fountain? Oh! Oh, it's a little kitty girl who got lost. Oh, this is. Oh, th there's a. Oh, Shh, I didn't realize this was a whole thing. Oh! That's so cute. Okay, so it's a little kitty girl who's like, oh, she's looking for her mom, but she's or they're looking for they're they're looking for their mom. They're not a girl, but they are a cat. And they- I thought this was just gonna be a quick thing. Ah, I feel a little weird. Uh, but they just thought that I was gonna eat them, but no! In 
means I won't eat you. No. What can I do to help? Um, let's make a wish. What should we wish for? Hmm? Um, to become unlost. Here, coin! Thank you, but what do I do with this? I make wolf stupid. Put a coin in the fountain and your wish will come true. Everyone knows it. Yeah, <laughs> you're so pushy. Alright, I'll make a wish. No, no, kitties first. I wish mommy will find me. Bloop! Alright, my turn. I wish... Aww. You! Get away from my child! Oh, your wish came true already. Mommy, I was so afraid! Get away from her this instant! Uh, what's wrong? Oh, Mommy, I thought I'd be lost for you forever! That shameless beast coming to a town like this to eat our precious children! Ugh, wolves should be exterminated! <gasps> Aww! But, but I wasn't... I'm sorry. Aww! Me, uh, th this won't be too big. Apparently picks the choice that instantly takes me out of that scene. Two days later. Being on the road is so much more peaceful than the towns around here. It's still no sound of treat anywhere. I'll just have to go further out. I bet you had a nice place to stay where people aren't afraid of us. She certainly tried to. That was a good rest, but now it's time to go. I've got a long road ahead of me. Hello there. Nice day, isn't it? Indeed it is. Do you happen to know how far it is to the next town? I'm afraid to tell you there isn't another town in this direction unless you're willing to walk for three days or so. Okay, thank you. You really intend to walk? There's an insta-rail station up ahead, you know. What's that? See those tracks? A long time ago, tracks like those were laying all across the world. They connect many cities and towns along fast travel between them. Stop me if you already know all this. No, I, I had no idea. I mean, I've seen the tracks before, but I never knew what the Insta was about. I'm surprised to meet someone who hasn't heard of it. Where do you say you were from? Nah, yeah, the mountains. So I just need to get to the station, then I can go to a new town? Well, sure. All you need to do is buy a ticket, then you'll be able to go wherever to whatever region you please. Uh, how much are they? Do they accept trades? Not much money, huh? Hmm, what a strange traveler. If you can't afford one, I may be able to help you. You seem awfully hungry, so much so that I haven't been able to muster the energy to move from the spot. Are you carrying any food? I don't, but I can get you something. Just hold on, Mr. Rabbit. We did find an apple tree. Or something. That's fair. Here's an apple. Will it be enough? <laughs> yes, that'll do just fine. Here, I'll try to you. I'll trade you this ticket to Dai Daifuku for it. Wow, thank you. What kind of place is Daifuku? It's the city of rabbits. You've proven yourself very kind, so I don't worry about whether it's right to give the ticket like that to a wolf. I really don't understand why it'd be something to worry about in the first place. You at least know the wolves have a bad reputation, right? Yeah, but... eh, never mind. Thanks again for your help. I hope we meet again someday. Indeed. Farewell, fellow traveler. Five years ago. Still can't believe this is my home. Thanks again for building it. Everyone helped. It's easy. Well, it's amazing to me. You guys really tear these down and build them more somewhere else wherever you want to move? Seems like kind of a shame. Yeah, we have to. Huh? Why? Other animals move in, and we can't live around them. I don't get it. Why not? They think we're bad. Maybe you don't know, because you were a pet. Normally, everything. Normally, everyone only thinks that wolves only want to eat them. Oh, that's why you build with ice instead of something permanent. I, I understand, kind of. Still, it's nice having your own house stay in one place. I'll kind of miss that. No. No. Wow, this place is so big. I wish Tree could see it. But if she really did go far away, maybe she's already been to a city like this. Where could she be? Eek! Don't touch me! I just wanted to ask a question. Oh well. Is everyone gonna be scared of me? Y you creep! Is going around scaring lone women your idea of fun? I, I didn't mean to scare her. How is she supposed to react when a big wolf comes out of nowhere and singles her out while she's alone at night? I d I'm sorry, I didn't realize. You better be sorry. I'm, I'm watching you, wolf. Go back to wherever you came from. Aww. 
I can't... Well, that's not quite true, actually. Ah, is this a food stand? That's right! You look about as hungry as a wolf! Uh, but... You're not afraid of me too, are you? Afraid of a hungry little dog? Eh, never. Your kind's good for business. <gasps> oh, I can eat here then. Come on now, darling. Don't be shy. You sell crepes? Only the very best. I'll make you one on the house, just to prove it. <gasps> wow, really? You're so nice. Aww. You don't mind a little chat while I whip this up for you, right? <laughs> not at all. We don't see many wolves here in Daifuku. Where, where are you from, darling? Mount Sorbet. My pack moves around a lot, but we call her home Vanilla. Mount Sorbet, huh? My family used to live near there. We ran a little far for a few years. <laughs> My sister's the real farmer, though. She and her husband owned the land at the time. They moved out somewhere safer once their baby came. Pretty odd for a pair of rabbits to have a single child, but that's my sister for you. Come to think of it, only having one partner is a bit odd, too. It's odd? I don't know that was expected. It's definitely not for rabbits. I've got two partners waiting at home. I honestly can't imagine how I would have handled all my children without them all these years. Wow, I've never heard of something like that. Raising a bunch of kids sounds tough, so it definitely makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense you find it odd, too. The dogs that pass around here never tend to have more than a few siblings. Ah, I must sound like such a busybody, busybody, always asking customers things like that. I mean, I can't speak for everyone, but I do appreciate a stranger being so friendly with me. Well, we ain't strangers anymore, darling. Call me Costella. Ah, I'm Trick. Nice to meet you. Well, now your crepers ready, Trick. Bon appetit. Um, it really was delicious. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome, darling. How do mind doing favors for someone who looked so worn out? <laughs> I really looked that worn out. Well, sure. As a mother, I've got a sense for it. You're pushing yourself too hard. Can't do much about that. The reason I'm traveling is to look for a friend. Sounds important. Hmm. Takes the fun out of traveling when you're fixed on your destination. <laughs> well, if you're out seeing the world, may as well stop to smell the ro metaphorical roses. Go easy on yourself, Trick. No, okay. Thanks. Now you get going. Good luck and come back when you can. Andy Cassell's crepes will be waiting for you. We'll be here waiting for you. Six weeks later, oof. That's like at least a solid two months of just being on the road. <laughs> this forest looks a lot smaller on the map. I'm so hungry. <gasps> oh no. Hey, a snack! I've never seen this kind of berry before. Hope they're not poisonous. Um. Just one to be safe. I don't want to risk getting sick. Just one will be fine for now. Then if they're safe, I'll eat my fill. Oh. Hmm. Doesn't taste too bad. These berries seem alright. I'll pick some more to take with me. Ah, uh, dizzy. Because I'm hungry, or... I'll just take a short rest. Oh, no. Oh, baby! Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh The highest power smiles upon us. This is the first time a wolf has passed our gates. Prepare it at once. We must wait. What? Why? Can't we expedite tradition this time? It's been so long since we were last able to feast. A date. The berries. They always do this. They always make us wait because of it. Despite the wait time, the wait the berries do bring in more meals. It is a net gain, brother. The last one got away due to our impatience. The highest power is giving us another chance. We must display our gratitude. I concur, brother. Let us show us some courtesy to our guests before we feast. Oh, uh, where is this? It awakens! Eat this! You will recover! Food? Hi. This feels so sketchy. Splendid! You've recovered! We will be preparing for the feast shortly, as such we simply cannot allow you to leave our village before then. And with that, welcome to Wormwood! Please, take some time to relax. The feast wouldn't be possible without you, after all. Um... Wormwood, just relax. You'll be happy here. Um... There's someone in there cleaning the floor. Hello! 
But you follow me? Not now. I'll wait. Feel the rain's countless kisses. Indulge in these such worldly sensations. Revel in this bliss so fleeting. Sorry, rain makes me feel more cold than blissful. I don't know what I'm doing with, with their voice. <laughs> we, may each, we may call each other brother, but we aren't all related. Or male, for that matter. I just feel like pointing that out. Ah, thanks for the info. It's hard to tell since you're all wearing the same mask and raincoats. These garbs are worn to please the highest power. <clears throat> I've completely forgot the voice. Though we do often mistake who we're speaking to amongst the group. I'd imagine your laundry's so tough to sort, too. Oh, not at all. Our name times are shown into the collars. Ah, but I shouldn't be giving away the cult, um, our group secrets. Your charisma will not sway us from what must be done. That's not comforting. Our feasts depend on travelers like you. Had you not come along, we've... we may have had yet another night of unsatisfied tummies. Save all the good meals for visitors? That sounds a little tough. Our temperance has not yet gone unrewarded. Tonight is an auspicious night. That's so creepy. We're all excited to have you. The highest power smiles upon us. The highest power? What's that? The sun? What? The highest power is the highest power. Why could you have gotten confused? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I hope it didn't offend. I was just genuinely curious. Although you may never become as beloved as we are by the highest power, perhaps giving you... Inquisitive guest, a brief overview will not hurt. Oh no. The highest powers, our great omnipotent leader, providing us shelter, plentiful rainfall, and most importantly, sending many magnificent meals our way. It's nice to you something like that looking out for you. I can only re really rely on myself. Go to the dining preparation house. Accept the highest powers' will, and even you shall be blessed. Sounds like an honor. I'm so... Nervous? What? The windows have bars. Maybe to protect the glass? Sure. To protect the glass. Well, all their beds look the same, just like back home. Alright, I will follow you now. Now then. This way, quickly. Head east, you'll reach the rails. Follow them to the next town. I'm getting kicked out, but everyone was so excited for the feast. Now I have to miss it? Listen. Oh, it's you! It's you! I remember you from the last chapter. It's easy to think things like wolves are ferocious, mice are harmless, but your species doesn't decide what you'll do, what you'll do to others. You understand that, don't you? Sounds so serious. Sure, I understand. It's dangerous to stay here. You should go back to wherever you came from. Oh, well, I can't go back yet. There's someone I'm looking for. You won't find them here. You're sad on this, huh? Must be a terrible feast you're keeping me from. All right, I'll go. Please give everyone my thanks for the hospitality. It's not often that people give someone such like me a warm welcome. It was nice while it lasted. You're a good person. I hope we'll meet again someday. Trick is such a vembo. I love them. I knew I'd find you here. <laughs> he got me. I don't think he's coming back. Maybe waiting around all year was the wrong choice. <laughs> you did more than wait around. Yeah, but you know what I meant, Treat. You've always been smiling since that time, but... You're still sad about it after all. Oh, were you worried? Hey. You don't have to worry about me, okay? My master wanted me to go out and be a real wolf, not just a pet. Whatever his reasons for leaving the way he did, I'm grateful to him. But you know, when someone you've known forever just disappears like that, it still kind of hurts. I guess that's why there's the saying, it was for the best. That's how I can keep smiling. You're optimistic. Yeah, I feel that. Hey, it's fun to smile too. You should try more often. <laughs> Sorry. You don't have to apologize. What I'm trying to say is, if you can laugh even when you're feeling down, you'll be invincible. Are you trying it? I can't tell. It's ridiculous. I love Treat. She's so cute and easily flustered. Late spring. This must be Ginseng. What an out-of-the-way little town. I don't know what the people here are like. Ginseng. 
Oh, this is where the foxes came from. Oh, are we gonna get to meet... Are we gonna get to meet Moxie's really shitty mom? These are the ones who were hanging out at the Fox Club. Yeah. That was the person who was the cashier. Uh. <laughs> what? Hello, uh, I'm from out of town. I'm trying to talk to as many people as I can wherever I go. The door isn't locked. <laughs> the door isn't locked. I should go. Well, uh, sorry to bother you. I'll be on my way now. It's too dark to see inside. I just, I have a feeling that was Moxie's mom. Looks like no one's home. Hey, Wolfie. Leaving so soon? Let's have a chat. So that brings you to this neck of the woods, eh? Uh, <clears throat> been looking for someone. A friend. <laughs> oh, if it's another wolf, we know one of them. So don't assume that all wolves are automatically friends. <gasps> Could it be Treat? Kind of tall, light hair, barely talks. <gasps> yeah, that's the one. She's been living near a little rabbit town called Frosting. <gasps> wow, really? For how long? Who knows? She was there before us, but we started living, and we started living there last winter. Yeah, except for that town, kind of majorly sucks now. We bailed on it just the other week. Thanks for the info. I think I'll try going there. Follow the tracks west. Yep, <laughs> west to yonder station, partner. Pony up and skedaddle. <laughs> west, got it. Thank you so much. <gasps> Hi there. Yeah, uh, another wolf. I guess we just can't escape them, even in this dump. Aw, oh, Peppa, don't smack talk your own home. I'll say whatever I want. Our boss isn't here to make us read her stupid lines. Don't you mean former boss? Who cares? I'm sorry, you having a bad day? Nah, she's always like this. I was right, they are a lesbian. If I, unless I'm mis under, or misremembering things. I know where Treat is now. She's living somewhere in this area. I'm finally here. Never thought about what I'd do when I got this far. What should I say to her? I guess I could start with hello. Now leasing. Aww. Mm -hmm. Oops, that's not where I want to be heading. That's fair. I wonder if she'll be mad. It definitely took way too long for me to get to this point. Or maybe she'll get upset that I didn't spend that time doing something more worthwhile. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try with the bunny town. <sighs> I'm sure I'll stop feeling anxious once I talk to her. And then, Treat appears. <gasps> Aww, look at her! <sighs> Hello? Oh, Rabbit, I was inspecting. Uh, never mind. Hi oh, there, sorry to bother you. Rumor has another wolf, wolf lives around here somewhere. Do you know her? Tree? Yeah, she lives here. Oh, lucky me. Is she here right now? She's actually at work right now. Um, that's not far though. I can take you there. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> My name's Mochi. I'm Trick. Nice to meet you, Mochi. You and Tree live together here, huh? <laughs> yeah, it ends up that way. So, um, where she works is just down this path. This way? Yeah, got it. <laughs> So, like, the main menu has all of those characters. What if they all just ended up as a giant polycule? And just consider that. Contemplate that. Just really think about it. So, Trick, uh, where are you from? I grew up here in Mount, Mount Sir Bay. First lived with a human, then with Treat in our pack, then, well, I've been a lot of places since then. Oh, I guess Treat, huh? huh? <laughs> Treat hasn't told me much about her pack, but that's the impression I got from seeing you. Hey, um, by the way, you've been traveling for how long? Yeah, since last winter. So, uh, several months. Did, did, did you, um, did you come here to take Treat back home? Mmm, nope, nothing like that. 
I'm sorry, I'm being so nosy. <laughs> no, no, you, no, you're fine. If I said that, why was the wolf here? Then he must want. Then you wanted to see Treat. I knew he must be from her pack, and, and knowing that she ran away, I thought if you're looking for her, you must be able to take her back home with you. That's usually why I'd go for looking for a missing person, right? I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't show up to just. But if you've really been searching all the time because you're her friends and you care about her, I just couldn't tell you to go away. So I got scared and panicked so badly, and you weren't trying to take her away in the first place. I feel so selfish for worrying about you being so nice. And, and, and... Hey, it, it, it's okay. You, you can calm down now. I love Mochi so much. Okay, um, s sorry for freaking out. I'm okay now. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't make, I didn't mean make, make, make you panic. It, it's not your fault. I know it has a problem with acting weird lately. Um, let, let's hurry up and talk to Treat. I'm sure she'll be excited to see her old friend, right? <laughs> I wonder. Honestly? In a complicated way, Mochi kind of reminds me of myself. Because, like, I just thought it was, like, just, you know, oh, like, you know, maybe a little weird. But mostly, honestly, not, like, that far from, like, baseline humanity. Um, until, like, I had to function on, like, solely my own. And then, like, my autism really, like, showed itself and, like, reared its, like, and then, like, it just kind of, like, made itself apparent. And just with Mochi being, like, you know, she was just kind of, like, for my impre my impression slash memory, she was just kind of like, you know, this really, like, she just wanted to be friends with everybody, but like, to like a, you know, a strange degree for the other rabbits. But other than that, nothing super weird. But, you know, now since she's been kind of been out and just with it only being her and Treat, it feels like, you know, she's having, you know, troubles with like her emotions and stuff and just, you know, valid. And I love, I love the little bunny, whether she's actually autistic or not. Yeah, this is it. Yep, this is where she works. I don't know, it's really okay to drop in while she's working. Um, you don't want to go say hi after all? Uh, I, I, I do, but... Uh... <laughs> Make up your mind, silly. You came all this way, right? Here it goes. Welcome to our hot springs. We provide a rich cultural experience and, of course, a nice hot bath to warm your soul in the midst of even the coldest of winters. Ah, how nice! I'm sorry, we didn't come for a bath this time. Ah, Mochi, how have you been? I see you befriended another wolf. Hi, I've been okay. And this is actually one of Treat's old friends. Yeah, even if you're not we're not here for it, can I still go in the hot spring? <laughs> sure, but... Thought I heard. <gasps> ah! Ah! You're... You're... Why are you here? That's a hot spring. A bat sounded nice. Trick. And eh, just kidding. I came here to see you, Treat. I, I, I didn't think you'd... You're not mad, are you? Why would I be? It, never mind. I'm, I'm just glad to see you're okay. Everyone, this is my friend Trick. They probably came a long way, so please treat them well. I'm so used to the... I'm so used to F12 being the screenshot button. I have done this multiple times trying to get screenshots of cute moments. I did this last episode too. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised? <gasps> oh, look at them! Aww. <gasps> Aww. Mm, I can't sleep. Same here. Come on, quit staring. You're making me nervous. I, I didn't think they would get to meet you. <laughs> Maybe we'd all get to do something like this together. Yeah, I wasn't sure I'd ever get to see you again. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay, I found you. So you don't have to apologize. Mm-hmm. I, I should have at least told you that I wouldn't be coming back. And I, but I couldn't say it. I'm really sorry. Aw, 
Ah, you said you're a goodbye in your own way. That's good enough for me. Everyone was probably a little mad. Nah, Fennel was the only one who was really upset. And you know how she is. Mostly we just wanted to know you'd be happier, okay? Or you know? You know, everyone's still around as far as I know. Go and say hi sometime. I'm sure your parents will be happy to see you're doing well. It's not like they'll make you explain yourself. You're all so nice, even when I don't deserve it. I don't say things like that. Of course you deserve it. Aww. They didn't sleep yet? <laughs> Tell me another story about somewhere you visited. Alright, let me think. Aww. Huh. Ever since that day, I tend to wake up way too early. I guess it's about time. Aww. Time for you to wander, wander away. I'll let them rest. I mean, it is wandering wolf trick. Gonna go out. Gonna set back to wandering. That's fair. Going that way would mean retracing my own my own steps. I'll take a new path. Trick, trick. I guess this means I'm not as good at sleeping away as I thought, huh? Please don't leave. That's a little unfair, isn't it? If if you're trying to prove a point or get back at me for before, I, I get it, so don't? No, that, that wasn't my intention. Sorry, that came off wrong. Then I don't understand. I'm not sure how to explain it. To be honest, I got really carried away going to all sorts of new places while I was trying to find you. Just completely useless, let, especially considering you never even left the mountain. Whoops. I guess when you left, it gave me an excuse to keep traveling and see more of the world. And there's just so much more out there. So I just, I can't stay put. Besides, while I was out having fun, you already built a life here. I can't just barge in on that. I realized that the home I was looking for has been lost from the start. So I have to go and find a new one. Your new home can't be here? Sorry, you can't. Hey, treat. Have a good day tomorrow. I... I already have a good day every day, so you don't have to worry. Get plenty of rest. And don't forget to eat, okay? Okay. See you. Yeah. See you later. Oh. To be continued. Oh, that's so cute! They... They did the thing where they swapped the dialogue! Oh, that's so cute! Aww. Chapter 5, Dreaming Treat. That's so cute. That's going to have to wait for the next episode. But that's so cute. Also, aww. That's... That's really cute. I think it's really, like... The whole thing of, like, having characters, like, parrot each other's lines back at each other is really good and really cute and really sweet. That was really fucking cute. Oh, I love that so much. Ah, oh, ah, oh, sorry, it got me all emotional. It was just, it was so cute. And, like, yeah, a little sad, but, like, mostly just so cute. Hmm. This isn't the last that we'll see of Trick. I'm calling it. This is not the last we will see of Trick. Hopefully. But, until next time, please, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying the series. I know I am. I am really loving Wolf Girl Wednesdays. Or Wolf Treat Wednesdays. Uh, please don't forget to be kind to yourselves and one another. Uh, if you'd like to help ch the channel, please don't forget to, you know, like and subscribe. Comment if you particularly feel the need and the urge. Um, or just tell some friends about the channel. That really helps me out, because, uh, you know, word of mouth is very powerful. Uh, and until next time, it's time for some very, very gay and very important things. I'm eternally grateful for all my supporters over on Kofi, Darius, Bunbot, Suffix Seraph, Space, Natalie the Unchained, and Vixie. If you'd like to help support the channel, join the ranks by following the Kofi link in the description below. Once there, you can choose from a variety of either one time or subscription options, which will get you the following benefits adding a game to the list of things I'm going to play. Get your very own custom-made Discord emoji made by me. 
access to the subscriber-only Discord server, or get added to the end card by subscribing at the common tier or higher. And as always, don't forget to hydrate, masticate, and medicate.